All right. Well, speaking of Panthers ex players or players, uh, Stefan Gilmore, Gilly, Gilly Lock himself, coming to the 49ers. Now, this one does seem to have a little bit of legs, right? He's a free agent. He can sign wherever he wants. And we heard a little bit about this last year. Now that he's a free agent, we're starting to hear more about it. So I'll ask you two separate questions. One, do you think the 49ers are actually interested? And two, if you were running the organization, would you be interested? Um, so let me preface this by saying two years ago, I think it was, or maybe it was last offseason, I put out an article on us on SI saying that the 49ers should trade Garoppolo to New England and try to get Gilly Lock and a pick to be able to that. do that. Yeah. And so I'm really, really high on Stefan Gilmore. And especially with the way the secondary was when I wrote that article, we didn't have guys like uh, that were just shut down corners or guys that we were like extremely high on in the secondary. It was still kind of an opportunity uh, that the 49ers could do to upgrade. That situation has changed a little bit for me, Jesse. I am a, a guy that really likes what they have there in um, Mosley as well as Ambry Thomas. I'm big, I'm a really high on Ambry Thomas. I think that he's going to be grow into a stud player. But even though I'm so high on those guys, neither of them are Stephon Gilmore. Neither of them are Gilly Lock, right? So I don't think that the 49ers brass is looking at a guy like Gilmore, not because they don't think he could benefit. I think just the money that he's going to be asking for. I don't think the 49ers have ever shown inclination to pay anybody in the secondary that type of money, at least from the cornerback position. Now, if it was me, I would kind of think twice about it. The reason being, the only Achilles heel that I've seen from that defense when it comes to the defense being the reason why the team lost. Because majority of the times if team loses, I don't really put it on the defense. Um, it's usually because of lack of scoring from the other side of the ball or something happened in special right. teams. But as far as like, there have been a couple of games where the defense definitely didn't show out. That was week three in, uh, against Green Bay and the NFC Championship game against the Rams. Both of those games, the star receiver ate up the 49er secondary. Week three was Devontae Adams, who almost had 200 yards, uh, passing a couple touchdowns. And then against the Rams, both uh, OBJ and Cooper Cup obviously had big games. So when it comes to a stud, stud receiver, we tend to not, we don't have anybody that you could just play, put this guy on this guy and, you know, you're going to have, you know, trouble with them. That's the reason why I think where Stefan Gilmore could actually benefit the team. Because you could put him on an island. It could just be Gilly Lock. Put him on Devontae Adams. Wherever Devontae Adams lines up, Gilly Lock is there. And then you could have, you know, Mosley and, and um, Thomas play the other two corner corner positions. Um, if there's, you know, a D-hop, Gilly could go on one-on-one -on -one with him. You know, Cooper Cup, all this kind of stuff. So that's where I think that um, he can benefit. I just don't think that they're going to be able to afford him. He's still a guy who I think teams believe can be their best corner. And I think he's going to, you know, be one of those 15, 12 to $15 million a year type of players that I just don't think the 49ers will be able to compete with. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm on the other side of the fence. You know, I, I personally wouldn't go after him. The money obviously is one thing, but he's going to be, I think he's going to play this next season at 32 or 33. When you're a man corner, at some point, that's just going to drop all the way off. And I would rather be on the side of, hey, we missed out, rather than signing him. And then you've got a two-year deal where you're locked in, and he drops off this next season, and you're stuck with him. So also, I don't think either of the other corners, whether it's Ambry or Mosley, really could kick inside. And so that is a big reason for me. I would stay away from Gilly Lock. I Great career. Let somebody else spend that money. I would rather bring in somebody that can kind of compete with an Ambry Thomas, somebody like a Kyle Fuller, somebody that's 30 years old, always healthy, won't be near as expensive, and can either compete for that starting job, and if he doesn't get it, would be a hell of a backup. That's kind of where I'm leaning more towards. 
Um, you know, I, I think Gilmore would be a luxury because Ambry Thomas, like you said, did come on and show some really good things. And I'm comfortable with both him and Mosley as our starting corners. I, I really am. Now, the nickel corner spot, that's a whole different deal. But at this moment, I just I, I don't see a purpose of paying big money to a 32-year-old corner. Now, if they have an opportunity to bring in a J.C. Jackson, I would listen to that because he's much younger. I just don't think the Patriots are going to let him get away. Now, I know that he posted something along the lines of, you know, the Patriots, they don't know my worth or they're not willing to give me my worth. That is going to get worked out. I would I would be shocked if it didn't. The Patriots really value lockdown type corners, especially when they're young. They will trade for them. They will put a lot of assets into them and they will pay them. I think at the very least he gets franchise tagged and we'll be back with the Patriots. That's just me personally. But I do want to get to this comment 